Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a purple minion. So I'm just going to use some flower and modelling paste. I started with the white one, I've just got the Renshaw's one here, and I've just dyed some a purple colour. I don't want to use the whole amount because I'm going to need some for my arms and my hair, so I'm going to take some off. And I'll just put that back in a bag so that it doesn't dry out. So we're going to start by rolling into a little bit of a sausage shape. And I do apologise, you can see where I've just dyed the purple. It doesn't have to be an exact height because they're all different heights. So I'm going to leave mine about this, I think. And I'm going to start by adding the mouth about halfway down. Now I'm going to use my modelling tool for this one, but you can use a toothpick or a knife, whichever you find easier. So. I'm going to just draw in a curve, but it's upside down. And I'm just smoothing the top edge. And I'm going to use the knife now to open it up a little bit more. So I'm going to try and get my knife in that same line that I've just made. And I'm just going to pull it up a little bit. Just make sure I smooth any edges. Okay, so just opening out the bottom jar a little bit. Just smooth it at the top as well. Now mine's quite soft because I've had it in my hands for a little while. So I think I'm just going to let it sit to one side for a good 10 minutes. And it'll just start to harden slightly and then we'll come back to working on it. So I've got a bit of black next for his dungarees. I'm going to roll this out. I'm going to put a bit of water on the bottom of his body and just around the very top or bottom edge. And I'm just going to push that onto there like so. Sorry, I realise I'm a bit off camera, aren't I? So we've just glued this onto the bottom and then that very edge, just making sure it's pushed down. And I'm just going to trim around the edge now. If your body's really soft, you'll find that you end up digging into the body. So just give it a little bit of time to harden a little bit on the outside. Now, because we've still got some flat, we'll use that for the front of his dungarees. Just have a look at high up, how high up you want them to come. So I'm going to put them to about there. And I'm just going to mark where I want them to come. Either side. And we're just going to bring those round to a curve. Either side. I'm just going to trim a little bit off the bottom as well. I'm just going to run a little stitching line around the edges with my little stitching tool. I'll put links into the description bit below the video that says where I get the tools from. So it's just a bit of water now on the back. With it being black, don't add too much because the black dye will end up seeping into it. So we're going to put this on there. Just pushing the extra underneath. You can put some little crease lines in if you want using your tool. And if we've still got some bits rolled out, we can give him a little pocket from it. So I've just cut out a little rectangle for this one. It's just going to go on the front like so. I'll re-roll this for his straps. I will put some stitching in his pocket as well, just around the edge. And we're going to cut two thin lines for his straps now. So I'm just straightening them at the ends. And we're going to put a little bit of water on the back. And we'll run that from the front corner of his pocket. Round to the back and we'll pull that off. Do the same 
the other side. So we're going to give him some legs now, some legs and feet. So we're just going to roll a piece like this. And I'm just going to cut two pieces out of it for his legs. And I'm going to stick these underneath them, just using a little bit of water. And we're just going to sort of push him down to make sure that both are even on the work surface. Okay, because you don't want him to be stood at a tilt. So he's only got little legs on this one. And then we're going to make him some feet. So we're going to roll into a ball to start with. And then make it slightly oval shaped. And then we're going to cut that in half for both of his feet. we we'll turn these up so the right way around. I've got little cracks in mine, so be a bit more careful with yours if you can. I've got one a little bit bigger than the other, so again, just be careful to get them the same. I'm now going to put water on the bottom of both of his legs. I'm going to stick these to the bottom of each leg, like that. Again, stand him up to make sure that he's even. Or you can turn his feet sideways if you want them to go sideways. Let's try them sideways. Yeah, they look alright sideways, I think. Now, once you know that he does stand up straight, I'm not going to leave him like that at the moment because his legs are going to shrink under the weight of him. So I'm just going to sit him like that for just a little while so that these can set in place there. Apologies, I have been dyeing. I've seen in between filming. Some hands are now dyed a different colour. So we're going to do him some little teeth. We're literally just going to take a tiny little ball and roll it into a teardrop shape. Put a little bit of water on the back and we're just going to slot that against the bottom lip. We'll do a few of these, they can all be different sizes, that's fine. So for his hair we're going to take some more purple and I'm going to put it through a clay extruder. So I've got a little end with lots of holes in. Now you can roll these individually if you prefer. So I'll mix this, mix this with a bit of Trex to soften it so that it'll go through the clay extruder a little bit easier. So you'll be able to see from the clay extruder that it comes out in lots of individual pieces which is what we want for the hair. You can, you can roll it out individually if you like. If you want it tangled just sort of mix it around a bit on your hand as well. And what I'm going to do is take my knife and pull them all off and hopefully they'll come off as one piece. I'm going to stick these onto the head, so we'll start around the side and I'm probably going to let his hair dry while he's lying down. So when adding hair, bring it down to the bit that you think his goggles are going to come across to because the goggles will cover the join. So once you've got your hair where you want it, you can then start adding the band that goes around his eyes. So we're rolling out some black and we're just going to cut a thin strip to go around his head. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water around the bottom of the hair. Now if you want to leave the hair to dry before you start moving him around that's absolutely fine. Again apologies if I put my head in shot when I'm doing this. Now we need white for an eye, so we're going to roll this out a little bit and then cut out our little eye. I'm just going to stick that on with a little bit of water in place like so. It's starting to take shape a little bit more now. Then we're going to need some grey fur around his goggles. So for the grey, again, we're going to roll it out nice and thin. Start to get a few cracks in mine. So just mix it with Trex again if you do start getting cracks. And we're going to cut a strip to go around the eye. It's going to be a little bit 
thicker than the depth of the eye. So we'll try it like that first. So I'm going to hold it against it so we can see how much it sticks out. So that's probably about right. And let's see, it wants to fit about here. So we're going to cut it there at the other end. And I'm going to put a little bit of water on the bottom and just on the bottom of the side bit too. I'm going to push this around the eye. Apologies for all the shadows, I think it's starting to get a little bit darker outside and the lighting isn't fantastic. So he wants some purple now inside of his eyes. So we just want a small round circle. You can do this before you add the grey if you want. I'm just going to pop that in there like so. And then a tiny little black dot for the centre. We're also going to use some little grey bits for the side of his little goggles, which I had almost forgotten about. So literally, just two little shapes like that. And just a little bit of water on either side of those goggles. Oops, I'm going water mad today. And we're just going to push those on. On either side. Like so. I'm going to start standing him up soon. For when we add his arms. Now I might have balanced mine so that he's going backwards a little bit. So I think he's probably going to have to lean against something is this one. Now the arms on these ones are a little bit longer than on the yellow ones, so we're going to roll a nice long thin piece of purple. And I want it to come to a little bit longer than where his feet are. And we're going to stick this to the side of him there. We'll do the same for the other side. I'm going to have to stand him up, I think, to add his arms on. So what I'll do is rest him against something. I've got my little box of cocktail sticks to hold him up. I'm just going to take a tiny amount off the ends of his arms because I have made them quite long. And we're going to just stick some hands on either side now. Again, taking your black, we're just going to roll two round circles, two round balls even. I'm literally going to put a little line in and open it up on both hands, just rounding off the edges a little bit. And we're just going to leave him with quite mitten shaped hands, which we're just going to stick on the end of each of these. Now, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see on the video with it getting a little bit darker. And what I'm going to do now is just roll a long piece like this which is going to go round the bottom of the arm to cover up the join where we've stuck them on. So that is just going to go around there. So because it's difficult to see him from above what I'll do is I'll put a picture of him on from the side so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to let him dry and then I can stick him on a little cake board that I've got ready for him. Right, thank you for watching guys. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.